Hey y'all, welcome back to Mrs. Lynn's Cooking. Today we're going to make a country style chicken pot pie. All you're going to need is cream of chicken soup, one can of your sweet peas, one can of chicken, and if you want to, you can add carrots to it, or you can substitute one of the cream of chickens for a cream of potato. And then we're going to instead of putting it in a pot pie or a pie filling, we're going to use biscuits. Okay, what we've done is we have added three cans of our cream of chicken soup. Next, we're going to take our canned chicken that's been drained, and we're just going to break it up into the mixture. It's already got a little bit of chicken in it, which is fine. That's what we want, but we're just going to put one more can in there. You can easily use canned chicken, or you can use a rotisserie chicken. So let me get this broke up in here. And then once we add all this to it, then all we're going to do is add in, stir it, and then add in our sweet peas. Like I said, you can add carrots, or if you want corn, you can add it, you know, or potatoes, you can add any of this to it as a filler. You can use more than three cans of chicken if need to as well of your cream of chicken soup. Okay. Now, we're going to stir this up before we add the peas, because if we don't, what will happen is the peas will end up getting flat, and we don't want that. So we're just going to stir it all together. And this is going to be the inside of your pie filling. And you could use the whole can. My family likes sweet peas, so that's what we're doing. The whole can. And then you're just going to stir this in here. Um easily because you don't want to bust up your peas and then once we get this done then we're going to take it and put it in a baking dish okay we've got everything stored together now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a baking dish like so you do not have to grease it and we're going to bake this on 350 till it's nice and bubbly depending on your oven, I'm going to say maybe 10, 15 minutes, or maybe a little bit longer. It's just going to be like a light golden brown on top after we get through cooking it. Okay, I've put mine in a baking pan. The reason being is the aluminum foil is not very sturdy, so it will fold up on you when you try to pull it out. So just put it on a baking dish. Okay, our chicken pot pie has come in out of the oven. What we're going to do is we're going to let it sit for about five minutes to thicken up because it's really super hot and it's got to cool off a little bit. Okay, we have plated up our chicken pot pie. The biscuit recipe is on my video. If you like my recipe, please like and subscribe. 